Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. It is Football Thursday, Thursday, December 3rd, 2020. Got a free pick in college football for Thursday night action coming up on this report. Uh, first quick note, if you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run, click on that link below the video, get yourself set up for a free $60 account, which you can then use on any of my daily packages or anybody else at DocSports.com. Again, it all starts by clicking on the link below this video. Uh, coming off another college basketball premium play winner yesterday, you know. Uh, we had Baylor, by the way, over Illinois, and thanks to those of you who jumped on board, our first six-star play of the college basketball season. So 3-0 and this week with our college premium plays in basketball, and we're now 7-1. and That's 88% against the spread and up almost $2,800 for $100 per unit betters in college basketball with my college sides so far this season. Seven and one, and we're a good week or so into the season, and that's what I had mentioned that I had decided to do with all the COVID issues, the health issues, the way the schedules are uh, for college basketball to start this season. Uh, we just decided to do this a little bit different. One or two plays per day, and uh, really, really be selective uh, before we jump in with those premium plays. Now, I don't have any problem with people, and a lot of times this is the way to go, betting college basketball 12, 13, 14 plays on a busy schedule, but not this season for me, at least not yet. So nice win with Baylor. Thanks to those of you who jumped on board. I do have one college basketball premium play for Thursday's card over at DocSports.com. We'll look to go to 8-1 and one with our college basketball sides. Also wanted to mention that uh, it is college football and NFL Thursday at DocSports.com. All of my plays right through the weekend, right through Monday and Tuesday. You know, we got Tuesday NFL this week. Got it all, and it'll all be posted on Thursday afternoon over at DocSports.com. Uh, got a seven-star game of the month in the NFL. We haven't had a seven-star for several weeks now in the NFL, uh, but I do like this one matchup on Sunday slate. Also wanted to mention we've got a six-star in college football, so it's a big weekend for us. Got at least seven plays, and uh, they'll all be available again Thursday afternoon at DocSports.com. 58% with our last 502 NFL plays that we've released online over the last several years. And we're now in the top five, fourth now, in the Las Vegas OV contest out of about 50 or 60 entries. We're looking to win our third straight Las Vegas OV contest. And uh, we've pulled into fourth with a few weeks to go. So we'll look to see if we can get it done there. All right, uh, also wanted to mention real quick, soccer got an underdog on Thursday. I passed Wednesday. A couple nights ago, we had a nice plus 280 underdog in soccer. This is another one of those big underdog prices. It's plus $2 and more. And it's a Thursday day game. So go check it out if you're into soccer and want to jump on board. It's on my Handicappers homepage. So that's a lot going on for us. Uh, no free play in college baskets. I only like the one play and it's a premium play today. But we're going to look at the Thursday night college football slate, the matchup in the Mountain West between Utah State and Air Force. Utah State's just an absolute mess right now. And I know they beat New Mexico, but New Mexico has had the toughest season of college football with the fact that they're never at home. They've been all over the place playing everywhere, and uh, they got the win there. Uh, but Utah State has lost their uh, coach midseason. Uh, they had, I believe it was four more players that decided to opt out for the transfer portal just in the last few days alone. Uh, they don't have their starting quarterback. He's been out for a little while. And as far as Air Force is concerned, they've had an extra week to prep. They run the ball for almost six yards per carry and over 300 yards rushing per game. They're going up against a team that even when healthy allows over five yards per carry on the ground. I think this is a bad spot for Utah State. And I know that number has gone up a little bit, uh, but a free play and opinion on uh, Air Force minus the points on Thursday night over Utah State. Remember, Air Force still playing for a possible bowl game, so uh, they will be motivated in this contest, obviously. All right, that's going to do it for this particular video. Again, don't forget, football Thursday, DocSports.com. All my football for the entire week in college and pro, including that seven-star game of the month, will be available on Thursday at DocSports.com, along with my college basketball, my soccer, all that good stuff. Undefeated this week, college basketball and soccer thus far. Let's keep it going with those premium play winners, and let's get back in the win column here on the free report with Air Force and college football. I will be back here Thursday night. We'll take a look at Friday's card. I'm sure I'll have college basketball at that time. Pretty decent slate on Friday. We'll talk to you then.